It looks to me like AT&T is in pursuit of more mid-band. Surprise, surprise. They need more spectrum. They've been complaining about it for a long time. And they've been uh, trying to approach and deal with the problem. Uh, they trail both Verizon and T-Mobile in their national mid-band 5G spectrum holdings. For those of you that don't know what spectrum is, we're talking about the wireless airwaves we use for our cell phone network access. And AT&T has the least amount of mid-band. Right? When it comes to like N77 and C-band and DOD and all these other frequencies, at and is a bit behind both Verizon and definitely behind T-Mobile. But it appears that they're making some moves to increase their holdings, which means they can have more capacity on air, which means they can monetize it better, and it puts them in a position to have a better wireless network. So the frequency they'd be doing it in is the 3.45 gigahertz, which is DOD. That's the way two ways you would know it. It's the lower portion of N77 just like the C-band piece, but uh, they could increase their spectrum holdings in that band, in that frequency, and then they would become a little bit more competitive with providers like Verizon and T-Mobile. Now, without there being like a spectrum pipeline and, and the carriers are just moving forward thinking, you know, there's no spectrum coming anytime soon. It has to be sorted out, figured out. And we need a direction from the FCC. So they're lo exploring ways to do this. So they're trying to obtain more from this, I don't know, Ensite company where they can get more of the DOD, which could enhance their holdings, but they've got to get past the spectrum screen, which I think is ending this year where it's like, I think restricted to like 40 megahertz of bandwidth. They can then increase the amount of bandwidth uh, they can hold. So this would be exciting. They obviously get a lot more competitive. Uh, th obviously the network would get better and you wouldn't look at them as being too far behind or even at all in any way behind compared to their competitors. So this is exciting uh, to see the AT&T get better when it comes to their wireless network and the performance get better. But let me know what you guys think about this opportunity here. Do you guys think AT&T is going to nail this or do you think they're going to squander it? How do you think this is going to play out for them? I, for one, want to see them get more spectrum. I want their network to be better. I just know that AT&T put themselves in this position when they weren't able to bid more for spectrum in the C-band auction. They put themselves in a position where they had to go this route. And don't forget about the whole like possibility of N79 or, you know, whatever the 4.9 gigahertz comes out to be with FirstNet. That is going to be something that AT&T needs as well. Let me know, though. Drop me some comments. Like, share, subscribe. Check out some more videos. We'll see you guys on the next one.